Now, what does the data actually say? Yes, there has been an increase in COVID positive cases in some states, but that's a pretty meaningless metric given that we're doing way more testing now. Public and non-public data, which is important in Florida, uh, show that new cases in the state have been consistently trending up since mid-May, and the trends cannot be attributed to increases in testing. What's really important is the number of hospitalizations and ICU beds. Or four. For example, uh, that one county in Florida, Palm Beach County, now says that its ICU beds are 81 are at 81 percent capacity. Um, while case numbers are still going through the roof and still hitting new daily records, that's bad. For example, the media breathlessly covered the 1,902 COVID cases reported in Florida today. It's a record, they screamed. But the data shows that Florida hospitalizations have been trending downward for two weeks. That's great news. It's daily. And even though we know from the counties that some individual counties are really bending under the strain in terms of their hospitalization burdens, we really don't know how bad the burden is statewide in Florida. I can't, for example, show you any charts about the current number of hospitalizations in Florida, how they've gone up or gone down over time. The reason I can't show you that is because Florida doesn't release that data. Lots of other states, almost all the other states, release their hospitalization data. Florida just stopped doing that. They stopped reporting hospitalization numbers statewide at the end of May. Which the Hospitalizations are increasing in Texas, which is concerning, but the media are treating the state like it's another New York, which, as you can see, is just ludicrous, not the case at all. concerned that we may be approaching the precipice the precipice of a disaster. This week, the COVID-19 general hospital population in Harris County was the highest it has ever been. It was the highest on Monday, and it's gotten worse every day. It's out of hand right now. In the Houston area, they're already at 88% of ICU capacity.